Hello there, welcome back to Third One the Boys. And I'm not ready for you because the camera just started. But we now have issue 105 of Hatchet's Build the Dizzy Dolls House. Uh, in this one, we are building the uh, the main wall of the outside of the house, and it comes in a seriously huge box. I mean, look at the size of this thing. Now, from what I've seen of the instructions, and they are um, concerning, uh, we have to glue two pieces of wood together. Now, there is very little um, holding those together. That's a concern. It's just the glue is going to bond this. So, I'm going to build this, and I'm going to leave this to dry for a good eight hours before I move on to it. Um, because you don't want this falling apart. You really don't. So you need that glue to glue and bond, and bond well. Because I'm just a little, little concerned with how this goes together. Um, it'll be fine once it's built and everything's touched the outside. It'll, it'll become a lot more sturdy. But I think if you start trying to move this thing around... Um, before that glue's had its full bond, it's going to fall apart. So we're going to glue it, we're going to clamp it, we're going to leave it, and then we're going to come back and we're going to finish it off. So without further ado, let's get this one up and let's see what pretty bits we get in this issue. Okay, so our pretties for this one is the chandelier for the Bee in the Beast room. So let's get this one open. It's lovely. Now it doesn't light up. And the reason why it doesn't light up is it doesn't need to light up. So in the Bee in the Beast room, we have the fire. There's the light in there. So this is a static thing. It's going to glue to the ceiling of the beauty in the beast room. Um, hmm, am I going to do that? Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to glue it in. But what I'm going to do first before I do that is I'm going to build the frame, um, the wall, the outside of the house. And then whilst that's drying, then I'm going to move on to this. They ask you to do this first in the instructions. I think during the drying time of the uh, the main wall, that's when we're going to do it. So I'm going to put this one away for now. And then we're going to bring over the pieces and we are going to put this one together. Okay, so here are the pieces of our wall. Now this is going to be the upper, and this is going to be the lower. Now you can see there's a groove here. We have a groove there as well. So what's going to happen is that's going to go around that way, and it's going to marry to that. That's it. Now my concern is, the only thing holding this together is going to be the glue. That's why you need a good bond. I would prefer some dowel or something that clip this in, but we don't have that. We just have what's going to be one line of glue along here holding this in place. That is a concern. I'm not going to lie to you. That's a concern to me. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, you know, so what, what can I tell you? It is what it is. That's what we've got. We're going to make it work. Um, and this is why I'm going to glue this and I'm going to leave it to have a, a full bond, a good eight hour bond. Um, so let's get this glued up and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I'm going to give this a good line of wood glue. Um, all along here. That's it. Now, quite simply, we're going to take this piece, we're going to attach that to there. We want to make sure we're nice and flat and straight. Weight it down if you need to. Clamp it if you need to. Whatever you need to do to make this straight and hold. Because what you don't want to do you can't move this about. If I lifted this up now, it would just come apart. So you're going to have to let this bond. That's just the way it is. Uh, I don't like waiting. Uh, like No one likes waiting, but this is what we need to do. It just is. Um, if you rush this, bad things are going to happen. So don't rush it. Um, do what you need to do. Sorry about that. Silence the screaming boy who, uh, whether or not he could or couldn't eat a cookie, required that level of uh, screaming. Um, so what we're gonna do is, like I said, we're gonna clamp this one, we're gonna weight this one down um, and allow it the time to bond. I suggest you do the same. I know that when you get to ones like this, you wanna just crack on and get going with it, but that way madness lies. So do what you need to do, allow the glue to do its job. Uh, otherwise you'll regret it later. That's it. Um, so I'm gonna let this one dry. I'll be back in about eight hours uh, and we will, con we will continue the rest. For you, it'll be a second for me it will be a full working day <laughs> so uh, i'll see you in a bit okay so for me it's been eight hours for you it's been eighth of a second um but we have these three sheets of wallpaper that we're going to uh, apply to the house now this is the way around we're going to go so you want this window on the left hand side of you as you're working with this and we're going to put the alice wallpaper on uh now let's make sure that's the right way up so the tile's got the bottom 
It's been a while since we did anything with Alice's wallpaper. What we're going to do is this lines up to the corner. So we're going to go right to the corner with it, like so, and then we are going to lay it all the way down. And that's what we're going to do. So let's get that done. It's um, It's been a while since we touched any of these, these wallpapers. Like Frozen, it's, it's got to be nearly two years since we touched the Frozen wallpaper, right? Surely. Um, it's been a long time, regardless. But these uh, these will match up to the corners, and this is what we're going to do. So... We have an Aristocats wallpaper as well, apparently. No idea where that is, but I'm not to find it, because I couldn't see it in the box. Yet we have, I'm talking nonsense, we do have a fourth wallpaper. Okay. So let's get that right up to the edge. There we go. And then we're just going to go for it. Okay. So there we go. That's Alice in Wonderland. Done. Right, the next one we're going to do is... Uh, frozen. And Frozen's going to go here, and we're going to lose 90% of that Frozen wallpaper. We're just going to trim it straight out. Um, but it, it is what it is. I mean, we're, we've got a whole sheet, but we're barely using any of it, because we're going to cut it out. But, all right. Um, let's see which way we're in this is going to go. So, yeah, with a white edge to that side. We're going to go right snug up to this one, and we're going to come all the way across. Uh, but again, as I said, we, we're going we're gonna to trim out 90% of this wallpaper, but eh, at least we've got it. I mean, it would be a nightmare to try and do it any other way, I would imagine. Um, but it is what it is. So we are going to overlap this um, uh, Alice in Wonderland paper ever so slightly. As you can see, there is a white strip along it. So my thought process is we'll lap that one, I think. Yeah, it says to do that. Okay, so it says to ever so slightly overlap it. So you can see this white border there. I'm going to place this one over the, the white border of this one. I want that closer. There we go. So that's how we'll be looking. And then we're going to come straight across. There we are. Give these a smooth down. So there is Frozen done. Uh, now we are going upstairs and we are going to... They're calling this Alice in Wonderland. There's... No, they're not. They're calling it Cinderella. That's a mistake on their part. Right. Make sure this is the right way up. Um, so you want your castles facing up with your clock facing midnight. If you get it that way around, your castles are all upside down and your clocks are all at half past six. And she's got a good, you know, five and a half hours left of party in and that's not going to work. Um, right. So again, we are going to the corner. We're going right up to the top corner this time. So it doesn't matter if there's a gap in between those. I don't know if there will be a gap in between these, but we are going to the top corner. So we're going right up to there. There we go. And we are going all the way across. There we are. So it's that one on. And now finally, we have the Aristocats wallpaper, which is just sheet white wallpaper. Nothing to it. Um, so I suppose that'll make, there you go. That's the Aristocats wallpaper. <laughs> Literally nothing to it. Mine's got a crease in it. Look at that. Mine's turned up crease. Son of a biscuit, but we gonna do? Nothing. Nothing. Gonna do nothing. So that's, that's the way it is. That's the way it are. That's the way it am. That's the way it be. So, so it is, so shall it be. We'll make it work. We will make it work, right. So we're gonna, whoop, that's not stuck down properly. I'm not happy about that, that's because that bloody window. All right, let's get this one measured and attached. So I want this one just over there, like so. This really doesn't feel sticky for some reason. I don't know why. Those last two wallpapers just didn't feel... I don't know. Strange, that. Thin, as well, because I can see the wood through this uh, Aristocats wallpaper. This seems 
dud, the Aristocats one. That's a bit of a shame. That is a bit of a shame, but, you know, what are you going to do? None. Uh, right, so we need to flip this over and trim these out. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So that's how we're now looking from the other side. So taking craft knife, we're going to literally score these out, take this window, this window, this window, this door, and trim the side panel there and tidy this up. And that's all we're going to do. So we're going to get that done and then we'll move on. So there we are. That's those trimmed out. Now, if we flip this one over, we can see what that now looks like. Aha. Right. So that's how we're now looking. So you can see where the four rooms lay out in the house. Lovely stuff. Um, we are now going to install these two beams. So we have two beams here. Let me read up exactly where these are going to go and we get those fitted. Okay, it's so taking vertical strip out. That's the one that's only a, a, an L shape. That is going to slot onto here like so. So let's get that nice and straightened. Make sure it's flush to the bottom. And again, we're going to let the glue do its job and let that one dry. Okay, another one that's more enclosed, that's what we're going to do. So we've glued into the channel there, and then this one is going to slot on to this. Now, that sounds easier said than done, I'm sure, but I want to make sure we don't squidge the wallpaper. Once we're actually on, we can adjust up and down accordingly. That's snug. Yeah, so that's what I mean about squidging the wallpaper. There we go. Well, that really is snug. It's going to push right on. I want that one as firm as it is going to go. I want it as far across because I don't want to find out later on this doesn't fit. So get that nice and squished to there. And there we are. Today, is it just me? These wallpapers do not seem as sticky as the, uh, the other ones for the house. The, these really don't seem to have that same bond. I don't know what's going on there. Not happy about that. But these seem, I mean, the, the old ones, once they're on, they're on. These feel like I could just peel them off. Yeah, that's a little concerning. I don't mind telling you. Um, that's it for that section. Now we're going to take the windows we built the last one, and we are going to install them into these windows. So you can see how I've added some all-purpose glue to the outer edge of this one. Now, the window's going to want to open, but I'm going to drop this one in, push this one down, and get that one as snug as possible into the frame. There we go. I can already see what's happening there. There's protrudes in the frame, so that's not good. right. Hmm. So we're going to have to elevate this. Right. Let's. Uh, that's a pain in the backside. Uh, the window protrudes out, so it won't. It won't fit down flat. But let's just raise that so we can get that so it goes all the way down and holds in. There we go. Annoying that, but we do the exact same thing on this side. It's so the same again for the Aristocats. Uh, take a window, drop it in place, seal it down. There we go. And now one left to go with the Alice in Wonderland window, which is just here. So let me get that one ready. Okay, so take our Alice window. I'm going to pop this one in. Oh, this one wants to put a bit of a fight. There we go. All done. Now again, going to let the glue do its job. And whilst that's doing its job, I'm going to install the chandelier. So that's that one done. And I mean, what an enormous piece of house we've just built. Um, it, it's looking good. It's looking lovely. I am disappointed in that wallpaper. I don't know what's going on with it. But the original wallpaper, you stuck that on, it won't come off. This, I'm fairly sure I could just peel straight back off. And uh, that's a concern. I'm not I'm not overly happy about that. But it, it is what it is. It's what we've got. Um, but, you know, that's that's the way it is. Um, it's looking lovely. It's looking really nice and I am happy with it. Um, in the next one, we are going to start building the, uh, the floor of the, the base unit that surrounds the house. So we're going to start building outwards. Swear to you, use a very good wood glue. Don't use some cheap PVA. Use a good wood glue or you're going to regret it later on. Um, I'll be back very soon with more from Building Boys, more from Hashtag's Disney Dolls House. Uh, in a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice. I will see you very soon. Uh, you can contact us at buildwiththeboys.outlet.com. But until then, take care.